dealing with small finicky things when you're doing websites is really, really frustrating. It's hard to get everything to align correctly, to get everything to size correctly, but Quasar's Q badge component makes this a breeze. Check it out. We'll come in here and say Q dash badge, and then let's give it some text inside of 2.0.3, because that's the current Quasar version. And there we go. It looks great to begin with, but let's have a play with this and see what we can do. First of all, I like to put this inside of a label. So let's say label is equal to 2.0.3. Make sure I spell that correctly. Save it. And there we go. We get the same thing. It's often nice just to keep all of your attributes in there and have a self-closing tag if you can. Another thing we can do is set the color. So let's set that equal to brown. There we go. We can also set outline here if you want a slightly different design. So I'll get rid of that. And we can also say rounded, which is basically going to curve off those edges a little bit more. Another thing we can do is say text dash color, and let's set that to something like brown dash nine, and then maybe we could set this to brown dash one. Save it, and there we go. Now we've got like a darker brown in the middle and a lighter brown on the background. What else can we do? I'll get rid of that, change this to a normal brown. Well, another reason to use a badge is to show an icon. I'll give you an example. If we change this to blue, Get rid of the label. You might want to put inside of here something like Q dash icon and then give it a name equal to Bluetooth. Save it. And there we go. We get this really cool Bluetooth icon badge. That's very similar to something you might see at the top of an Android phone. Whether And it kind of tells you whether or not your Bluetooth is connected or not. Another good reason to use this is for something like emails. So if we change that equal to email, we get the email icon. And then you could say, for example, you have 15 new emails. How cool is that? And it's looking a little bit squishy there. So let's come in here and say class is equal to Q dash margin left and set that to something like extra small. And that's just going to push it across a little bit, makes it look nicer. What else? Well, how about this? Well, imagine you've got a list of contacts and you want to see how many messages you have from each of those contacts. In that case, we could have a Q dash list Oh, we could put in there a Q dash item and then inside of there a Q dash item dash section. And then this could have, for example, avatar. This is all Q item related stuff. So check out that video if you want more information on this sort of thing. And then that avatar could be a Q dash image. And let's set the source equal to HTTPS dot dot slash slash pixum dot photos slash. And we'll get a photo that's 80 by 80. There we go. Doesn't look like match to begin with. How about we make this clickable and then we add in here boarded. All right, that's a bit better. And one more thing I'll do is set the width equal to 200 pixels. That'll make it, the list item look a little bit better. Nice, maybe 300. We can also come in here now, whoop, close that out. Now we can add inside of here another section, q-item-section. So imagine this is a picture of the person that has been sending you messages. And then on the top here, we could say messages, or maybe this would be like the latest message. Hey man, how was work today? Save it. And there we go. And then you could have another item section under here where we'll have the badge. So we'll come in here and say Q-badge. And I'm actually going to change this to a Q-item-label. This will make it display a little bit nicer. And then this one will be a caption. Just a little bit of slight styling related stuff to make it look good. So let's come in here and we'll give it an icon. So Q dash icon. And then let's set the name of that equal to mail. Or you might want to find like a messenger icon, whatever you like. And it looks like these labels need to be in their own section. Control shift enter, Q dash item dash section. Save it. And there we go. Now we've got this little icon at the bottom. And then you could say here, for example, six to basically say you have six new messages. And that could kind of mean this is the latest one. Might even look better if you swap those two. Let's try this. Save that. There we go. You got six new emails. And then this is the latest one. And once again, in this case, I'd probably say Q dash margin left is equal to something like small, just to kind of pull these apart a little bit. I think that looks great. Maybe change that to a different image. Let's try 90 by 90. 
There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, let's do another example. So if I come in here, get rid of the list, let's add a div, and then inside of that we'll have a class equal to text-h4. So this is basically going to give it a heading for style, some heading for stylings. And now I can come in here and say q-icon, and then give it a name equal to email. Let's just use that email icon again. And then we'll set the heading here equal to your emails. Save it. And there we go. Oh, I forgot to turn this into a badge. Control Shift Enter Q dash badge. Save it. And there we go. We've got that badge. But maybe you want this to be centered. So what we can do here is say a line is equal to middle. Save it. And there we go. It's just going to make sure that that sits in the middle. This probably looks better if we have like a label equal to emails. There we go. Okay, but when we use the label, it's going to overwrite the content. So once again, I'm going to whack that in there. And I love these utility classes we get from Quasar. Q dash margin left. Let's make that small. Nice. And then another thing you might want to do is align that to the top. So we can do that as well. So we can say top, middle, and then of course, bottom. So that's good to know. What else can we do? Ah, here's a cool example. If I come in here and say Q dash button, let's give it an icon equal to mail. I'm liking these email related examples. All right, and then we might make this round. And then usually email related stuff has got a blue color. So let's set that to blue. Okay, if you want to put a badge inside of that and set it to the right position so that it's kind of floating up here, that's ridiculously simple to do using Quasar's badge component. We say here Q dash badge, and then maybe this is telling you how many emails you have. So let's say 12 there. Now, if we make it floating and save it, it's going to appear in the correct position for a floating icon. How cool is that? And then in this case, you'd probably use a color of something like red. And there we go. You've got 12 new emails. And this is going to work if it's not rounded as well with a normal button. And another effect you might want here is to make this number a little bit more transparent. In that case, you can literally just add the word transparent. Save it. And there we go. It makes it a little bit more transparent if you would like that effect. But maybe the user doesn't want to know the number of emails. They just want to know that they have emails. So let's go back to maybe a round button here. Save it. And there we go. And let's just get rid of that number inside of there. And put in here rounded and get rid of transparent. And there we go. It kind of works as an indicator. In fact, in this example, using an icon like notification might be a little bit better there. Oh, notifications, plural. Yeah, that's a good example of where you might want to know how many notifications you have. This also looks good if you're simply using a normal button as well. So let's get rid of round there. There we go. Notifications, and we can tell we've got some, but instead of giving us a number, we can basically just put a little red dot there and it's really simple with the Q badge component. Just tell it it's color, tell it it's floating, and then make it rounded and you get this beautiful effect. So that's about it for the Q badge component. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I will see you in the next video.